Greetings, Skilling Carney, bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Welcome back as we look at another indie game. This time I check out Gravatar Recharged, developed by Atom Vision Studios and published by gaming giant Atari. Gravatar is part of the Atari Recharge series, a collection of games that are remakes of Atari's most popular games, and includes remakes of legends like Asteroids, Missile Command and Breakout. I must confess, I haven't played the original Gravatar, as it was released well before I was born. Furthermore, it was less popular than other Atari titles, and not featured in many Atari game collections. However, Gravatar is a great shooter in its own right, which requires a player to master piloting a fighter through a variety of gravity-based environments, from asteroids to underground caves and space stations, while fighting off enemy fighters, laser turrets and mines. The game looks great visually, keeping the look and feel of the original game's vector graphics and minimalistic color palette and throwing in some modern touches like particle effects. The question is whether this game can compete with other legendary titles in the Atari Remastered Collection. The game loop of Gravatar involves a player exploring a star system and visiting each of the locations, which provide various challenges ranging from eliminating enemy forces stealing intel from secure facilities, triggering distress beacons, and destroying bases. Upon completing all missions in an area, the player is sucked into a black hole and deposited in a new system, providing a new set of missions to undertake. The game is brutally difficult, with most of the challenge coming from controlling your ship. You have one thruster for movement, meaning you'll need to carefully manage your speed and momentum often feathering your engines to safely navigate through tight spaces or around laser barriers and mines. Anyone who's played Atari's other games such as Asteroids will immediately recognize the control scheme. You'll have to contend with gravitational forces, ranging from light resistance as you battle through an enemy ship, to deadly gravity wells around asteroids that can drag you to your death. Finally, the player needs to manage their fuel supply using their thrusters sparingly to conserve fuel, and searching for fuel barrels to replenish your supply. Gravatar also lets you bring a friend to tackle the game's campaign in cooperative mode. While I did enjoy the challenge of Gravatar, it's not without its share of issues. Firstly, there are only six mission types to complete. Given the high difficulty of the game, you'll be replaying these regularly and they remain the same throughout the game. The mission maps are very limited, with the only change being the placement of enemies and obstacles. This gives a feeling of playing standalone levels rather than a proper campaign. Secondly, while I was thrilled by the inclusion of cooperative mode, the developers failed to include enough supplies for a second player. This means there's not enough fuel to supply both ships nor are there enough weapons for multiple players. Unfortunately, this means having an extra player in the game makes it harder rather than easier, especially when you're trying to navigate tight spaces. I would have included additional fuel barrels and weapons, or at the very least, an option to refuel between sectors. The game is a limited in extra features, with only an arcade mode for the campaign and mission mode for individual missions. Finally, I noted my scores were not recorded in the leaderboard sometimes, an issue I've seen noted by other reviewers. These issues were a little disappointing, especially the cooperative experience which is the biggest draw for the game. Gravatar is a solid reimagining of the original classic allowing a new generation of players to experience the game in single and cooperative mode. It will take many hours to master the game's six sectors, and there are also handicaps to make the game more challenging and award additional points. I believe 
the developers need to refine the cooperative experience to make the game more fair for more players. I think the game would benefit from a working leaderboard, additional game modes, power-ups and collectibles, as well as a kids mode to help younger players. The game is currently available on PlayStation and Steam for $14 Australian. I highly recommend the experience on PlayStation, as I found the game far better suited to a controller. I also hope to review more games in the Atari Recharge Collection in the future. That was it for my review of Gravatar. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I hope you'll join me next time when we look at another indie game. Until then, Skill Incarnate, out.